Hello, and good day, everyone. I hope you all are having a splendid afternoon, morning, whatever time of the day it is. Today, we're going to be working on another training pack. We're, we're kind of following a theme right now. I don't know if you guys have, like, caught on to that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still trying to get over the sickness. Um, um, anyway, this is a pack where you're kind of working on these awkward, like, really high catches and then converting that into a dribble. There's not too many um, shots in this pack just because it's like a rough idea of just kind of working on this control, working on that ball cam um, toggle that really helps get clean and smooth catches. Notice how when I'm about to make contact with that ball, that's when I'm kind of toggling my ball cam just to really get a smoother transition. Yeah, so this pack's really just working on you being able to catch this from like really high awkward angles. I like to power slide every now and again to kind of get like a nice turnaround on the ball. Uh, you can definitely do it however you want. Yeah, today this is what we're working on. We're working on getting some high catches, getting good control, getting good dribbles. Um, Remember, you're probably not going to get these your first try. Don't worry about it. Um, it's, it's a pretty hard mechanic, and it's um, it's hard to get these catches and these dribbles down really well. Um, but that's that's why we're working on it. That's why we're here. Everyone's going to be struggling in their own little way, and it doesn't really matter because we're here just to train. And sometimes that's just the most important part of Rocket League. It's not always about playing ranked or ranking up. Sometimes it's about fine-tuning some of those skills. Uh, that you've been developing. <clears throat> and honestly, that's how you, uh... That's how you rank up in this game. You gotta you gotta spend a little more time, eventually, in, um... training mechanics. You'll notice the, the higher and higher you get in rank, kind of the more and more you'll be working on training mechanics and kind of getting down those mechanics that you want to have be a little bit better. Or just ones that you don't know at all. Like me right now, I'm working on, um... Backboard double touches. That's like my big one that I'm really trying to figure out. For whatever reason, my brain just cannot read backboard double touches. Um, but I can dribble, I guess, so there's that. But yeah, I hope you guys have all been enjoying this. We're just gonna kinda go through this one by one. You'll notice that these are like kinda weird, awkward um, catches. I don't necessarily think that it's gonna be a great idea for you to always go for a catch on these. Like, this is just more so just for control like just 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 for training like in a real game if this is bouncing down like this you're gonna want to actually try and get to this ball a lot quicker to clear it more ideally than you would just want to try and catch this the only time is like if you know you have the time to catch it if you know you have plenty of time to set up a really good flick and you know you can catch this ball 10 times out of 10 you know that they're recovering or maybe they're still in your net and you want to go for like maybe an air dribble bump on the last man or something um only if you know you have time. But you don't really have a ton of time um, in 2v2s. In 1v1s, uh, if you know you got like a demo on the guy and you're at zero seconds and you want to keep it up, you know, may as well. But again, this is not, this isn't really like an in game thing you want to do. This is just me um, kind of showing you guys some different ways to catch and just making sure you're comfortable being able to catch some sort of a ball like that if you needed to for some reason. You'll notice sometimes the ball bounces really high up. Um, a way to kind of stop that is... Let's see if I can show you real quick. Kind of that same thing of when... Remember when I was talking about reducing mechanical input? Like, so I don't have... I'm not accelerating. I might just tap boost, or uh, I mean tap tap drift just as I'm making contact with it, so I'm trying not to mess with it too much. Um, but I try and kind of let go of all my inputs as I'm making the contact. On to the next shot here. This one's a little weirder. Um, a little bit harder to get to. You can pre-flip to this one if you want to. It's kind of a little bit harder, a little bit quicker of a catch and turnaround that you're looking for. 
Mm. You can get here just by boosting and doing a little power slide drift sort of thing. Um, this is just one of those like tight angles where sometimes the ball is going to be falling like this and you're going to really want to be able to get some sort of a touch on it. Um, again, I would opt for hitting the ball like this if you're in an actual ranked game. That way, you're taking the ball not in front of your net. Because that, that's always kind of risky. Like, if your teammate sees you do this, like, there's, there's a chance you're going to get scored on here. But if you can get a touch up the wall and control the ball here like this, you know, like, you'll be Gucci. So, just something to kind of make note of. Um, there's always going to be multiple ways to do something from certain positions. Again, these are just really just kind of helping you know how to get these awkward catches if you need to you can even try and like make sure you're speeding up the play quick enough if you needed to score and that's kind of the big thing here is like when you get down into like further and further in rank you want to be converting a little bit quicker on all your stuff um so by all means if you if you know that you can take this this way and go for it, you know? But... I kind of like to, if I'm in a 2v2, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get this kind of a touch. That way I can also maybe get boost right there. Um, make sure you practice this from both sides. Obviously this is a shot that I don't work on a ton, or control that I don't work on a ton. Um, also, since we're talking about like ranked and like what you should and shouldn't do, don't be afraid to not dribble this on top of your car because like there's going to be times when you just need to speed the ball up going forward and dribbling it without actually carrying it on top of your car because you don't have to always you know like be dribbling the ball on top of your car because that kind of slows you down a little bit um so if you can sometimes you just need to speed it up like so rather than actually trying to get like a clean catch Or the next one here. This one's another weird angle, just kind of like above you. Kind of coming out, like diagonally down. A little bit harder to get a catch on this one than it looks. It's got a little bit more forward momentum than you'd expect. But just kind of work on getting these soft touches that you can you can follow up. Because there's a lot of times where you're going to try and go like this and you're just going to hit it away. Or you're going to go for the catch and you're going to miss it. Um... And these are kind of catches where you want to be able to stay in control if you can. Rotating out of like defense here. If you can, definitely try and get a, a full catch on it. Because then you can obviously do more. Uh, but if you, you're slowly trying to speed this up, then just, just speed it up. You know, you don't have to get a crazy catch. These, these angles like feel really weird at first, so make sure you, you practice them and then you'll get kind of more and more comfortable with toggling that ball cam just play around with different ways of catching it maybe power slide take it to this wall maybe you want that boost maybe you're going for clips Maybe you're just like me and you like your flicks. This one's a this one's a weird one here. Um, you can kind of control it a few different ways. Just kind of keep that in mind. This one like bounces back off this wall. Um, if you have Baka's mod variants on, this one's a good one because it really changes up exactly where it's gonna land. You can like fake a touch and actually control it infield rather than to the other side. Just really play around with the different ways of um, getting catches on this. Because once you get your dribble skills down, you're going to be able to control the ball for so many more setups, you know? So, just something to keep in mind. Now that one like bounced a lot differently there. That's why I love Baka's mod variants. Because it can really change up um, how you see a shot. It makes the angles and everything else feel like a little more um, natural, I guess you could call it.
Go ahead and go to this next one. This one's really up above. So. I just try and work on getting down that um, toggle of the ball cam. If you want to make this feel a little more natural, you can actually turn it off early and look for the little ball indicator here. Line yourself up. I like to keep my eye on it sometimes, but it's honestly personal preference. Whatever makes you most comfortable, I'd say go for that, you know? Hope you guys are enjoying this training pack. These are kind of hard to make. I'm not going to lie. Like, making training packs like this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, and it's like, especially when it's like these strange scenarios where I have to be like, okay, what's going to happen? How is, how is this going to look? Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Shorter video today. The training pack ones I feel like are kind of shorter. Unless the pack itself's longer, you know, so. Yeah. Enjoy the pack. Enjoy the training. Happy training, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Staying warm. It's pretty cold where I am right now. Lots of snow. We got like... This week, I think we got like about two feet almost. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, go through this until you can get your catches, you know, and kind of control them how you want the more you can dribble the more you can catch the more you can control the more lethal you'll be on the training field see you guys next time thanks everyone for tuning in peace